Breaking news for Rudy Giuliani, he has officially broken. Or at the very least, he's broke, or he wants you to believe that because he's declaring bankruptcy. Yes, he has filed in the Southern District of New York for bankruptcy. He, In the filing, he has revealed that he has between 100 million and $500 million in liabilities and between 1 million to $10 million in assets. I know that they have to report this in ranges, but it seems ridiculous when you put it that way. Because he definitely owes $148 million to Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. Where is the other potentially hundreds of millions of dollars of liabilities coming from? I don't know. But anyway, an advisor to Giuliani, Ted Goodman, had to say during the filing, it should come as a surprise to no one. No person could have reasonably believed that Mayor Rudy Giuliani would be able to pay such a high punitive amount. Chapter 11 will afford Mayor Giuliani the opportunity and time to pursue an appeal while providing transparency for his finances under the supervision of the bankruptcy court to ensure all creditors are treated equally and fairly throughout the process. Yes, every member of Giuliani's team is just, they're so concerned that everyone who he owes money to gets what they deserve. That's definitely what he cares about. Um, I don't know how this is going to interact with the other piece of breaking news, which uh, came out, I think, late last night. Uh, Judge Beryl Howell had, had ordered that Giuliani cannot wait until the appeals process is over to pay uh, the two election workers that he spun uh, racist conspiracy theories about. He would have to pay immediately. We'll see what happens with the bankruptcy in that. But uh, not good circumstances for Giuliani. Uh, what, what do you think, Bonnell? Listen, I, it's, this is hilarious to me. I think the, the funniest part about this, though, is um, we keep forgetting funny in the saddest way that the $148 million was not a message to Giuliani. I think the court realized that he wasn't going to pay it. I think it was just to, to warn people that if you're willing to threaten our democracy, this is what will happen to you. It was the second blow uh, in that direction. If you consider what happened to Fox with the uh, Dominion case, I think this was a warning to everybody else that was in line to be charged for criticizing election workers and also the integrity of our uh, uh, electoral process. I think though with Giuliani is what we see is when we when you when you prize or prioritize these people these personalities, they all fall down, they crumble. And it also, I mean, I watching this so-called legal genius who gave us the RICO stature mm-hmm. and showed us how to prosecute it. Watching him right now with his own legal handlings, make me question if it was him responsible for that or if he just got credit because he was the DA at the time. Who is the real legal mind? I'm waiting for that story to come out behind how we prosecute and use the RICO successfully. Because it couldn't have been the guy at the wrong fourth season with the black stuff running down the side of his head. Yeah, I wonder about that. Like it makes you just see everything in his past through this different lens. Like, and you wonder what was he was he just good at PR and you know, like I think politicians appeared on podcasts less back then. Maybe there wasn't as many opportunities for us to see how crazy and stupid they are. Or is it that his brain really has just rotted inside of his skull over the past couple of decades? I don't know, I don't know. But it's definitely one of the two because this dude is just in terrible shape.